our rabbis tell us that the first verse that a child should say is Torah Tziva Lanu Moshe Morasha Kilas Yaakov. The Torah that Moshe gave, commanded us, is the heritage of the congregation of Jacob. What? This is the number one verse that a child should say? What happened to Shema Yisroel Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad? What happened to the first of the Ten Commandments? Anochi Hashem Elokecha, I am the Lord your God, who took you out of Mitzrayim. What about V'yahavta L'Reicha Kamocha, the golden rule, love your neighbor as yourself? What is so unique and so special about Torah Tziva Lana Moshe Morasha Kilas Yaakov? One of the answers I'd like to share with you is one word of that verse, and that word is Morasha. Moshe Rabbeinu commanded us and gave us an heirloom. That's what Morasha means. What's the difference between Morasha, an heirloom, and a matana, and a gift? A gift, when you give it over, that person now has the reins of ownership, can do whatever he or she wants with it, could change, alter, or make it completely different than the gift that you gave him. Not so a Morasha. A Morasha, an heirloom, has to be preserved and protected and given over to the next generation in the same manner that the person who gave it over was received it. And that's what Torah is all about. The concept of being true to our Mesora, to our traditions. Ladies and gentlemen, before you know it, it's going to be Shavuos. Shavuos. Zman Matan Torah saying when we receive the Torah and it is incumbent upon us to give it over whether it's to our children, to our friends, to our students, to anybody that we come in contact and be true to what we received. On behalf of the, my Rebetzin, we wish each and every one of you a Chag Kosher V'Sameach, a time where we will receive the Torah and give it over in that way that we received it. Amen.